Geography now. Germany. Germany? I've been to Germany. I have not. What the heck? Why haven't you been to Germany? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a little bit German though. I'm like 40% German, so. I think I was like 10, probably. 10 to 20, somewhere in that range. I've been to Berlin and I've been to Munich. Need to see more of Germany. But uh, I liked it. It was very similar, at least from like outside. We live in a place where a lot of German people migrated to. Mm -hmm. And Germany is very similar, like aesthetic wise, as Minnesota in the United States, where we're from. So I, f I found a lot of similarities to it, at mm -hmm. least. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, there wasn't like a ton of. It's actually. Minnesota is very, like, it's just very Swedish, very Polish, and very German. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like those three. So, yeah. Just the fact that there's only that little amount. Shows but, that there would be similarities. Yeah. But I've only been there one time. I was there for like a week. I want to go. So uh, let's see what else we need to learn about Germany. It looks like it would be very cool. Yeah, definitely. It was very clean. That's cool. Very clean. Munich was super clean. For how big of a city it is. It is a big city. Yeah. But uh, let's do this. If you enjoy, subscribe, like the video. Uh, here we go. All right. Leader Hosen Schnitzel beer, Bratwurst order bread and beer, complicated history beer, no humor, EDM, and gummy bears that will kind of like give you diarrhea, but it's like worth it. Ugh, what? Those are such horrible stereotypes that every German is so sick and tired of hearing. Want a gummy bear? I want a gummy bear. I love gummy, gummy bears. Geography now. Hey everyone, I'm your host Barbie. So we've conquered Belgium's castle, jumped through Denmark's lagoon, danced through France's forest, and now we've made it to the final boss of the EU, Kingpin Germany. Level yes. one, begin. <gasps> ah, you know why I'm smiling. Yep, Germany has a lot of territorial anomalies. We'll get into that in a little yeah. bit. First, Germany is located in central Western Europe, bordered by nine other countries. Don't forget little wow. Luxembourg, with small coasts <laughs> on the North and Baltic Seas, which they own about 50 small islands. Now, Germany, mm, like the US, is a federal that. republic which has 16 smaller states, or Bundeslande, each with its own constitution, three of which are cities, the capital Berlin, Hamburg, and Bremen, which is actually kind of like two cities, including Bremerhaven on the coast, but they kind of act like one entity. Weird. Fun side note, Lower Saxony is actually geographically situated further north than regular Saxony. Now let's jump oh. into the fun stuff. Now we already discussed the Jungholz Quadrapoint and the Venbon Railway enclaves with Belgium and Austria. However, there's a few more. The entire town of Bussingen am Hochrhein is surrounded by Switzerland, whereas part of the oh, Konstanz wow. is cut off by the Rhine River and surrounded by Switzerland. However, immediately across the river, a small patch of empty land on the German side actually belongs to Switzerland. Finally, they split the island of Usedom with Poland in the north. Germany is interesting because every state in the country has its own distinct culture culture, dialect, history, food, traditions. I mean, Bavarians will be quite drastically different from Schwestlig Holsteiners. Mecklenburg-Pommern will be different from Saarland. This all has to do with ancient and recent history. Basically, in the quickest way I can summarize this, Germanic tribes, Roman wars, Charlemagne, three kingdoms. This guy marries an Italian, creating a whole new mess called the Holy Roman Empire made up of 300 smaller <laughs> oh separate kingdoms, gosh. states, and dukedoms, which had nothing to do with Romans. Teutonic Knights, Brandenburgs became Prussia, Habsburgs became Austrians, Lithuanians and Poles made their own thing, whereas the Hungarians joined the Austrians. Wars were battles, battles, Napoleon comes over and messes everything yeah. up, and finally Europe. German nationalism surges, and in 1871, Otto von Bismarck creates the first proto-German unified state. And then they're all like, oh dang, we came late to this game, we gotta scramble for some colonies. And that's how all of these countries at one point spoke German. Oh, and also oh, keep man. in mind, like 300 years before this, a German banking company obtained colonial rights to Venezuela for like 20 years. They were looking for the lost city of El Dorado. So technically, you can kind of say Germans colonized the Americas, but it wasn't like a nationalized conquest thing. Fast forward even more, and then you get World World War One, the monarchy ends, Treaty of Versailles, they lose land, Nazis come in, World War Two, Germany splits in two for about 40 years, and then finally, we get the Germany we so have today. Just East Germany consists yeah. of these states is today constant. still quite different from the rest of Germany as it was first Peaceful occupied now. and influenced yes. by the Soviet Union. They are generally not as well off economically as the rest of the country, as you can still see the blocky Soviet-style buildings mm -hmm. sprawled throughout the regions. In fact, the city of Berlin was split in half, and the west side was actually an enclave of West Germany, only accessible by train and highway. You can even sees from a satellite image the divide. East oh, Berlin wow. still uses the yellowish tinted sulfur vapor light bulbs, whereas the West still uses fluorescent and mercury on wow. white tinted That's light cool, bulbs. Actually. Now the funny thing is, although Berlin is the largest city in Germany, the busiest airports are actually Frankfurt, Munich, Dusseldorf, with Berlin Tegel ranking at number four. Mm. Otherwise some top level landmarks and spots mm -hmm. would be yeah, the Brandenburg yeah. Gate, the Valhalla, Cologne Cathedral, the Ulminster Church, the tallest in the world, the Berlin Victory Column, and hundreds and hundreds of castles all over, the most notable one probably being Neuschwanstein, the Concept behind Disney's Ooh. Cinderella Castle. Germany uh, also had. And. For the most notable uh, one, probably being. Is that Bush, the Reisendrak one? 
It might be. Uh -oh. Dreisen, Dreisen. 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 The concept behind Disney's Cinderella Castle. It looks Germany like it. also has over 400 zoos, more than any other country in the world. And of course, everybody Weird. knows about the Autobahn, the highway system, boom, boom. which if you see this sign, it means there's no speed limit. Oh, and it's like baby. that for a huge portion of the roadway. And no wonder, considering how vast and wide those cultivated countrysides can get. Time for level two. Okay, think of it this way. In Germany, the more down you go, the more up you move. Basically, Germany <laughs> lies on the Atlantic Shelf in the north that starts with the mud flats in the North Sea. Seriously, this island right here is accessible Whoa. only for a few hours by foot until the tide comes and floods everything. Then Whoa. everything just kind of creeps up into the Alps in the south by Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg, with the highest mountain, Zugspitze, located right along the border with Austria. Kind of like France, Germany is filled with a vast irrigating network of rivers like the Spree, Elbe, Vesa, Rhine, and of course, the mighty Danube that starts here. About a third of the land is arable, and another third is woodland, and after a millennia of civilization, Germans have cultivated the crap out of their country. Most agriculture, of course, happens in the North Flat Plains and the central regions of the country, which is, by the way, kind of like Europe's tornado oh, alley, due to really? its position sandwiched between the Arctic blasts of Scandinavia and the moist, warm jet streams Tornadoes. of the Mediterranean below. Oh, Germany no. can be an atmospheric war zone in the summer. There are more yeah, tornadoes. You never think of tornadoes like anywhere, but... Mm -hmm. Middle of the United States. Yeah, there's just so many there. Yeah, there's hundreds and hundreds a year. On average Crazy. in Germany than any other country in Europe. Speaking of flat farmland, Germany is the world's largest rye and hop producer. Germans absolutely freaking lutely love their bread. There so are over why? 300 different kinds of bread in the country, more types wow. than any other country in the world, and almost every meal incorporates some kind of okay. slice or small Let's go. bun Moving or portion of bread. Ach du gluten free? Nein! Germans oh are God. heavy meat eaters, <laughs> specifically in pork. They basically know every possible way to cook a pig. Over 50 <laughs> different types of sausage exist oh. alongside schnitzels, wow. rouladen, sour. Brotten, Schweinsachse, and at a big party you might find Spanfackel. Beer reigns oh. supreme all over as the third largest consumers of beer after the Czech Republic. Even their president has no problem with public intoxication. And oh, Austria. No. Germany is world renowned for their beer, which by the way follows the Reinheitsgebot rule in which they are only allowed to use water, hops, malt, and sometimes yeast. Nonetheless, oh. about 1,300 breweries exist, pumping out over 5,000 brands. The oldest continuously existing brewery in the world started by Benedictine monks in 1040 AD to be found here. Germany takes the wow. environment very very seriously and for the past two decades has been going on a major green revolution. As of today, they have the largest installed solar power capacity and green infrastructure practices like home installed turbines and solar panels have seen a huge surge in the past 10 years. Forests dominate the southern regions where the landscape gets hillier and mountainous, Ooh. the most famous one being the Black Forest or the Schwarzwald in Baden-Württemberg. Deer, bears, boar, <laughs> foxes, badgers, and the national animal, the eagle, can be found thriving in these parts. Nonetheless, economically, Germany Why is everyone love eagles so much? exceptional engineering <laughs> Industry production. Companies we've all heard of like Volkswagen, BMW, Mercedes, Benz, Porsche, Audi, Telecom, Nivea, DHL, Bosch, Adidas, Puma, Adidas, Puma. Yeah, it's kind of like the whole Biscoito <laughs> Bolacha thing from Brazil. Remember? Well, we have mud flats, tornadoes, pork, beer, mountains. All that's missing is people. Level three. <laughs> Dum, dum, dum. Fun little side note, in Germany, this is three, not this. Now, if the EU was a family, Germany would kind of be like the dad who got out of rehab, reconciled with his wife and kids, and is taking his new life very seriously as he is haunted by the demons of his past every day. First of all, the country has about 82 million people and is the most populated in the EU, second most in Europe after Russia, and has the fourth largest nominal GDP in the world. About 80% of the country identifies as ethnically German, 12% other Europeans, mostly Polish, Italian, Dutch, and so on. Turks make up about 3.5%, Asians at 2%, and the rest are made up of other groups like Africans and Americans. Also, they use the Euro, they use the C and F type outlets, and they drive on the right side of the road. Germany is without a doubt a global powerhouse. It is the strongest economy in the EU and makes up about 16% of the union's population. It's the third largest exporter and importer of goods in the world. After the United oh. States, Germany is also the second most popular global migration destination. Oh. Germany experiences a high standard of living, tuition-free universities, if you've yeah. accepted that is, a mostly government subsidized universal healthcare system, about a quarter is still privatized, and state pension for retirement at age 65. Now when it comes to language, things get a little tricky. Each state kind of has their own type of German. However, to get by, most Germans learn how to speak Hochdeutsch or High German, which is the standard dialect. The European Charter, however, <laughs> protects the minority languages of Frisian, Danish, Romani, Sorbian, which is like a Slavic-based language used along the Czech-Polish border, and Plattdeutsch or Low German, which so has many languages. Language yeah. and is typically used by the Amish and Mennonite communities across the world. In terms oh, no. of regional distinctions, though, Germany is kind of divided into five cultural areas. Rhineland, East 
East and Middle Deutschland, North Deutschland, Baden-Württemberg, and Bavaria. Rhineland is on the west side and has a culture somewhat more influenced by France, more Catholic, Carnival celebrations are huge out oh, here. East and Middle weird. Germany was the part that used to be its Whoa. own country for 40 years as it was influenced by the Soviets. Sorbians can also be found here too. Northern Germany has a coastal sea culture that identifies closer with Denmark and the Netherlands. They are also known for being kind of quiet and reserved. Baden-Württemberg has an interesting Swabian culture where they speak a dialect so thick that only about 40% of it is intelligible to other Germans. Oh, and then you have Bavaria, which is where the Americanized, perpetuated stereotypes about Germany came from with Lederhosen, Dirndls, half-timber, beer houses, and cuckoo clocks. For the record, Ooh. Germans are sick of those stereotypes. It's like saying all Americans are cowboys with guns and yeah. horses. Speaking of stereotypes, some of the stereotypes in Germany include things like Saxons being very indecisive, Berliners are always bragging about themselves, Swabians are stingy, Bavarians drink too much, Hessians talk too much, Holsteiners don't talk enough, and so on. Words oh, differ from regions too. For example, in High German, you would say Auf Wiedersehen, but in Bavarian, you would say Fiat die Gott. In Kölsch, you would say Tschüss, and in Rhineland, you might say Ayus. And there's so Ayus. many Ayus. compound words to get really long and complicated, like Rindfleischerticketierungsüberwachungsaufgaben yeah. Übertragungsgesetz. <laughs> this is because many words are <laughs> merkwürdig or ambiguous words that are kind of elongated to give off an extensive meaning. Germans have very vivid imaginations and make up words for everything. Like my You're favorite word, Backpfeifengesicht. Not this time. By the way, for the record, this letter makes a double S sound. However, spelling reformers have tried to decrease the usage of this letter in recent years, which has led to some protests. Germans also also love dubbing everything from foreign media into German. Some like this, some don't, but either way, it's here to stay. About 60% of the country identifies at least nominally as Christians, split between Protestants and Catholics. Germany was even the birthplace of the Protestant Reformation, split from the Catholic Church by Martin Luther. Otherwise, the rest are mostly agnostic or irreligious, with a noticeable community of Muslims, mostly from the huge Turkish and Middle Eastern communities, at about 5%, as well as a few Jews, Buddhists, and Hindus rounding up the remainder 1%. To kind of get a feel of what it's like to be German, you kind of have to understand where where they've come from. After World War II, they kind of had a lot of work to do. However, it wasn't until the mid-50s and early 60s that the Wirtschaftswunde or economic wonder happened to which almost everybody got to work. Basically, this guy envisioned and implemented a social market economy combined with free market capitalism alongside socialist policies that established fair competition in a welfare state. GDP increased by 80%, investments by 120%, labor forces were utilized to the maximum, things started to get better. In Germany, all children are corralled into general public schools until age 10 when they are given the option to enroll in three different types of middle schools. Gymnasium, geared towards focusing on higher linguistic, mathematic, and science fields for universities. Oh. Realschule, a middle ground type of school. And Hauptschule, a school that is geared towards helping kids that seem to show promise in specific vocation or trades. Germany wow. also has the largest music market in the, hard to decide that, yeah. in the world after the US and Japan. They love preserving their heritage and culture through music and art. In fact, there are around 130 national orchestras mostly supported by public money and Artists get a 50% reduction in health insurance through a special type of offer in the legal <laughs> wow. system. One thing that still kind of supposedly maintains itself in Germany is the mindset of Vergangenheitsbewältigung. Totally butchered that, which kind of translates to a lingering sense of guilt from the past. Germans have reportedly some of the lowest levels of national pride, and unless if you're at a <laughs> soccer game, chances are you will almost never see anyone holding a German flag or waving it in any kind of like patriotic setting. It's weird, but it's kind of how things are. You monster! <laughs> They've made great strides to move on from the past. Not Nazi flags and Mein Kampf are incredibly illegal items to own in Germany, and they even have a rule, the Volkswertzung, which basically says you cannot talk trash by denying the past atrocities. Some people say this infringes on free speech, others say it's good because it solidifies truth. Otherwise, some notable Germans throughout history include Charlemagne, although he was a Frank, but eh, I guess it kind of counts, Albrecht, Dürr, David Friedrich, Gutenberg, Whoa. Bach, Beethoven, Karl Benz, Albert Einstein, although Americans would like to claim that he moved to the US and became an American, Johannes Kepler, mm -hmm. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, Friedrich Schiller, Michael Shoemaker, Alex von Humboldt, and of course Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels co-founded Marxism. <coughs> but one thing Germans do best would have to be diplomacy. To this day, the German passport holds the most visa-free nations out of any other country in the world, what? just beating Sweden. Therefore, you can kind of conclude that wow, Germany kind that of knows passport. how to relate to people. Let's find out how in the final round, level four. Bum, bum, bum. Germany knows how to make friends. They have over 220 diplomatic missions abroad and over 350 honorary consuls and have an incredibly high position of authority in the EU. Their closest African friend would probably be Namibia. As a former Namibia. German colony way back in the 19th century, Namibia held on relations and to this day, German is still a recognized language in Namibia. Germans <laughs> have been supporting and sharing ties both economically and ideologically for over a century. India and South Korea are really close friends in Asia. India supported both East and West Germany during the Cold War and 
after reunification, they were like, woohoo, even better. <laughs> and Germany is to South Korea what Japan is to France. They love to piggyback off of each other's ideas and cultures, especially in the automotive industry. Many South Koreans were sent to Germany after the Korean War to work abroad and study, and Germans have been growing in fascination with visiting South Korea. The US is probably the closest ally outside of the EU. About 30% of Americans claim German heritage. And after World War II, the Marshall Plan allowed the US to give post-war aid to Germany, which helped kickstart the economic recovery. Germany was a key figure in the formation of the State of Israel after World War II, which after the Holocaust left an obligation to invest in the building up of a Jewish community. Turkey is probably the closest Middle Eastern ally as the Turks make up the largest Asian demographic in Germany, although many of them may or may not also identify as Kurds. But since Kurds don't have a state of their own, they usually go under Turkish passports when immigrating and are documented as such. Their best friends, however, would probably be literally all their neighbors. Yay! Because Germany is kind of like Bosnia and Herzegovina in which, by default, they kind of get friends based off of the regional alliances. Bavarians get along with Austrians, Baden-Württembergs get along with Switzerland, East Germany has good relations with the Slavic countries, the Rhine states love Belgium, Luxembourg, and France, and the North side loves the Netherlands and Denmark. France, though, is kind of like the trophy wife of Germany, oh. as the two have had an angry start, but then eventually <laughs> fell in love and worked together beautifully. France is like the beautiful, flashy spokesperson for the EU that stands in the spotlight as Germany stands in the background, managing all the money and logistical work. In conclusion, although Germanic peoples have existed for thousands of years, an actual unified German state didn't appear until kind of recently, and the brief time that they've been around, they've kind of gone through some of the most intense, world-revolutionizing historical events possibly imagined. Yet, they've come out working hard and building their way up to become a world superpower. You gotta give it to them. There's something about the Germans. And with that, the Final Germans! Boss level. The Germans! Stay tuned. Another African state Germany has ties to, Ghana, is coming up next. Germany! Germany! Wiener Schnitzel, yeah. <laughs> Wiener Schnitzel! Schnitzel is very good. I enjoyed it when I was there. I need to try it. You yeah. want some schnitzel? I do. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Was Nein! <laughs> Uh, Germany. Germany. Beautiful country. Beautiful country. We learned a good chunk here. The land of our ancestors. The motherland. The mother. The fatherland. Fatherland. Deutschland. Uh, obviously a ton of stuff we did not know about Germany in this video. A nice oversimplified view of like the whole thing. Kind of a little bit of history, a little mm -hmm. bit of uh, yeah. demographics, a little bit of, you know, geopolitics, stuff like that. And uh, nice overview. It's yeah. There is a lot of praise in this video for Germany. They're yes. doing well. He likes Germany. I like Germany. Everybody, apparently everyone just yeah, likes Germany. Literally everyone's just friends. Why wouldn't you like Germany? Hey, hey Germans, you want to go out to get a beer? I'm 19. I guess that's legal no, there. Definitely legal. <laughs> Oktoberfest. We should go to Oktoberfest. The October? When, when is it? Uh, it's November. Okay. October? Stupid We're coming? Joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. If there's more Germany videos that we should check out, let us know in the comments. Yes. Definitely up for learning more about Germany and other countries in Europe if there's stuff like that that we should check out as well. We will be in the region shortly. We will. <laughs> yes, we will. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.